cosmic drinking, the fabulous cocktails I make. America, you're just devoted to every flavor I've got. But if you want to get loaded, America's getting stinking on something I stir or shake. The sex on the beach. What's going on, my boys? Yo, god damn, <laughs> I never moved so fast in my life. I just got back from the bathroom cleaning up, had a mini shower. So, I mean, yo, we are here, man. Undertale is going down today, my boys. I don't know how ready you are, but I damn sure am ready, man. 
You should have seen how fast I was editing that video. I told you guys I was working on something big and it should be out within the next 30 minutes. It just needs to process from YouTube. I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart who waited in the stream this entire time um, for the whole thing to begin. I can't express enough how much I appreciate you guys having that patience with me. Some people were ready to kill my black ass, but the majority of you stayed real patient. I have to extend a big thank you to you guys. And we have a donation from Slimeify, who actually um, became a sponsor on the channel. Um, I just want to explain that really quick. Um, Slimeify, thank you. Beautiful day outside, the memes are cancerous, chat is ready, and the stream has started on days like these gamers like you should be streaming on Twitch. <laughs> um, have fun with Undertale. It's a great game. Yo, thank you, man. Also, for this stream, donations to get a message shown up will be $15. I'm making it that not because I'm a greedy bastard, but just so we don't have too many interruptions to the gameplay. That's the main thing that we're trying to avoid with this. I don't want us to constantly be stopping for every single little donation, although I do appreciate the support, but we're going to make the, the stream a little bit, you know, we're going to make the, great, the gameplay a little bit more streamlined. Josh says, glad to see you back. My boy Joshua also became a subscriber, uh, excuse me, not a subscriber, um, on YouTube Gaming. It's different. A sponsor during the stream. Glad to see you back. I beat the game three times, so here are tips for best experience. Don't kill anything ever. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I, I don't know what the hell the gameplay is like or anything. So everything that you guys are saying to me sounds foreign as hell. Um, people are saying if you ever played Earthbound, then uh, Undertale is like Earthbound. But I've never played Earthbound, so I don't know what the hell is going on, man. We got Chrissy in here too. God damn. Etika, don't read the chat. I already know, Chrissy. As much as I want to shout out everyone who was patient and waited for me in here, I can't shout you guys out just like, um, no, I can't read the chat. So um, anyways, make sure you play the game you want to play, not the way everyone else tells you to. Do what you feel is the right thing to do. And P.S. I'm going to sponsor. Yo, thank you, Chrissy. Um, just really quick so I can explain to you guys and shout out the guys who did sponsor during the stream. Um, it's basically YouTube subscription in um, comparison to Twitch subscription. So you can pay like $4 a month and that helps to keep my channel running. It keeps the content coming fresh as possible. It also supports your boy, puts food on the table. Um, just in general, you know, more money is able to put out more content. That's just the way the world works here. Um, you guys are basically providing the coal that keeps this motherfucker on the tracks, you know what I mean? Um, we got Miglo Guar in here too saying the stream is going to be hype as hell. You're going to love this game. Yo, dude, I'm looking forward to it, man. I don't want to waste too much time anymore. You guys have waited long enough. We had a delay of two hours. Editing takes a long time, bro. I mean, I know it does, but I thought I could, you know, I'm really good at editing. I thought I could fast pace that shit. God damn, everyone's in here, yo. We got WW Wario in here. WWW Wario. My man Triple D Dub Wario in here, man. I played Undertale a few days ago, and I'm so looking forward to seeing your reactions. Good luck, and have fun, my friend. Thank you for being who you are. Nah, thank you for being who you are, man. You've been supporting my black ass. I didn't even get to play the Five Nights at Etika thing. I'm sorry about that, man, but I'm just happy to see that there's so many familiars in here, dude, and you guys are being so freaking kind today, donating so much. Michiko's Cleavage is in here, too. My boy, finally, I had to take a nap so I can survive the stream. Well, don't you worry, man. We're about to get straight to business. I'm glad to see you and your cleavage in the goddamn stream. And look, I said it right, but, um... Really quick, I also got a shout at the people who subscribed, aka sponsored your boy. I like that whole thing, calling it a sponsorship. It makes it makes it feel real special in a way. So um I gotta shout out the sponsors real quick. Let me go to the page. Um give me a second. We got Jen's Graham in here too, another sponsor of the stream. Happy New Year. I'm so happy you're playing Undertale. Yo, man, I, I don't know what the hell we're getting into with this, man. Um beat the game however you like. We'll have a good time, whatever you do. I don't know what kind of game this must be for you guys to be giving me messages like that. Chrissy's saying, oh, play it the way you want to. What the hell? So um, the whole sponsor system, we actually, oh, there we go. Chrissy actually just sponsored the um, stream. Where the hell is the, the, the chat at on this window? You see, we, you can tell we, fa we, we fucking blaze through everything, man. I don't even have my stuff set up over here. I'm supposed to have the chat in here. We need the chat. We need the chat. Hold on a second, guys. Give me a minute. Let me just um, grab that shit from the, uh, the preview editor. Oh, Lord have mercy, man. I, what kind of a fucking game is this, man? Apparently, it seems like Undertale is a game that emphasizes choice because not even, you know, the guys in the stream, but um, Nathaniel, a ton of people have been a ton of people have just been telling me, yo, Etika, play it the way you want to play it, man. What the fuck kind of a game is this? Like, I'm so confused, man. Um, but it's popular, so obviously this game must do something right. It must give you some kind of crazy 
some kind of crazy fucking ultimatum that you must make at some point. I think it has multiple endings too or something. I'm not reading the chat, so I don't see. But I'm, I'm not reading the chat at all. I don't want to get spoiled. But um, there, there must be some crazy ultimatum, man. And yeah, here we go. We have the um thing here. I'm not reading the chat. I'm just looking for that last donation. It was from Chrissy, so you guys weren't able to see it. But yeah. Anyways, guys. Um, so big shout out to Chrissy. We got Prime Ribs, PK Oki. You guys are the fucking MVPs, man. Helping your boy out um, with the with the sponsorship, man. I'm glad to have you dudes on board. And if you guys see, if you do sponsor, you actually do get that cool little badge. I'm, I actually like that. I never had that on Twitch, so um, to have it here is pretty cool. As you can see, Twi Chrissy gets that little thing and the green line next to her name, which says sponsor. So it's a cool way of um, giving recognition to everybody who's willing to support more. My man Raj is base. My man Raj. Watching my boy Etika play through my game of the year 2015 with Will the perfect is the perfect way to waste time before Gear 4 and One Piece tonight. You going to Japan, my boy? <laughs> Have fun, buddy. Yo, listen, man. We're about to go in. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just start the game up. I already got it downloaded. We ain't wasting no more time. Mr. Cube Man saying, Etika, I love you. And your Rayman videos were the first ones I watched and I fell in love immediately. Well, thank you for those warm words. Okay. All right. So it looks like we're getting straight into the game. Um... How do you make this bitch full screen? What the fuck? How do you make it full screen? I'm, I'm missing out on story here. Hold on a minute. Um, the 8-Bit Gamer says, hey man, I hope everything's okay. Was having a pretty bad day, but this is exactly what I need right now. Yo, listen man, I'm glad to have your ass in here, 8-Bit. Um, hold on. You were supporting a ton beforehand, man. And, you know, it's good to, it's good to hear you dudes um the familiar people that you know i've been talking to for a little while now it's good to see you guys in here so thank you so much 8-bit um let's let's do that wait how do i make it full screen i got it f4 f4 wait f4 you sure f4 okay f4 is that really it okay that is it okay are we good is the stream okay what the hell did that just do to my is the stream lagging suddenly? What the hell is going on? Failed to start the game. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me now. Oh, okay. Here we go. I think we're good now. Alright, so we, we missed out again on the fucking... Let's, let's play. Is there a way to edit the settings on this? Alright, F4 is not working with this, so um, give me a second. Let me actually find a way to make it full screen without it actually being full screen, where it can just be an extended window. That might just be better, so it doesn't fuck up something. And no, I'm not going to delete System32, Bob. I don't think that's going to be the way to fix this, okay? But let me see here. Uh, play. Is there some kind of a settings thing? Yeah, we got to get into this, man. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Damn, Hold on, let me son, actually open this? my web browser in a separate window. Um, and we have Zadokai Chaos saying, enjoy the game, my boy. Just avoid the fandom. It's dark days to those who do. Man, it's, why does it seem like every single fandom for any kind of game online, minus maybe Rivals of Aether, just goes straight to hell and then suddenly everyone's calling it cancer? Or maybe that's just a symptom of being on the internet. As soon as a fandom grows too big, it's instantaneously cancer due to the ravenous amount of fans that it um, attracts to itself. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, man. I feel like calling things cancer is a cancer within itself, you know what I mean? But we're not here to get philosophical, we're here to have a bad time, man. Let's get into this. Michigo says, um, I really hope the chat isn't going to spoil anything. I ain't reading the chat! As much as I love you dudes, you know, you, you know, you know how much I love interacting with you dudes during the stream, man. We always go in. But I can't talk to y'all niggas during this, man. I can't talk to you during this shit, man. Oh, we gotta get this started, though, man. Come on, here we go. Play. It seems like the story just starts as soon as you fucking open the game. Press window and G to open it. Why does it just start like that? Um, Stay Rage saying, first time donating. Been watching your content since the beginning of 15. Love every video put out, Pete. Keep on keeping on and have a great new year. Yo, thank you, man. Stay Rage, I haven't seen you post before or make a donation, so I'm guessing you a new guy in here, man. Thank you. Well, not a new guy, per se, but you know, you, you've watched my stuff before. Alright, so let's see here. Maybe the stream is working okay now. And we have a new sponsor. We got my man Eric in here too, man. Big shout out to you, dude. Someone says, um, this is why YouTube Gaming sucks. It's not YouTube Gaming. It's the, um, it's the window system of the game when it opens up. Uh, it kind of throws my... Okay, here we go. I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright. What the fuck just happened, though? I'm missing... 
Is there any way to make the story go backwards? It just starts as soon as you... Oh, I, I, whatever, I just missed it, so... Okay. Okay. God damn, the chat is going insane. Holy shit. I don't know what's happening up to this point, but I don't want to make it minimized because I'm going to have to probably click out of it again. Is there a way for me to access settings with this game to potentially make it so um, I can uh, edit, you know, the full screen settings, the resolution? Let me know in the chat if there's something that I can do to edit resolution or something. All right. Press two or enter. Genuine Pork Chop says, edit Hey, Erica, you're one, of, you're one of, if not my favorite content creator. The game is often called the RPG where nobody has to die, so take that for what you will. Good luck, my boy. What the fuck is this? When HP is zero, you lose. Pretty typical. Ah. Uh, there's no way to do that, Erica. Okay, so whatever. We'll deal right now. Is, is the stream looking good for you guys right now? Because once we start, man, I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping, okay? So Z or enter... Okay. Final Flash says, I've been waiting since four, my boy. Yo, a lot of people have, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're getting into this. I need my motherfucking chapstick, man. Yo, I'm ready. I'm fucking ready, dude. Undertale, yo. Let's fucking go, man. I, I'm... I, <laughs> what the fuck is this game? I don't know what's going on, man, but I'm ready. I got my chapstick. What time is it? We got three hours, boys. Let's do it. Okay. So C is for the menu. Okay. X is cancel. Z is confirm. Simple enough. Is there like a walking thing? Um, begin game. Let's do it. Name the fallen human. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? The fallen human. This game looks dark as hell, man. I ain't even gonna lie. Let's just choose the name. We have E T I K A. We'll just go with my name for now. This shit is so weird. Like, I didn't realize the entire game was um, low res graphics like this, like 8 bit. I, I, I didn't know it was like that. I thought it was only like that for certain sequences. I've never seen any gameplay of Undertale either, so a lot of this is coming to me as a surprise. What in the hell are we looking at here? Apparently, you don't use the mouse for anything. Yes, that's correct. What is the deal with this game, dude? It seems so weird. Yo, the comments are going crazy. The comments are going crazy. Moderators, if you guys can stop spoilers, that would be great. What is this? Do we move? We can move. Damn, son, where'd you find this? My boy Faniel says, made it just in time. Looking forward to this. Do your best. What do you mean, dog? I'm so confused right now. Like, what do we... All right, so let me, let me see. What do we have here? We got our... Um... I guess this is our regular, regular old window of uh, checking our stuff. Stats? How do we check this? Uh, A, T, D, F. So there's only two stats, attack and defense. Damn, son. Where'd you find Inferno that? Omni. My boy Omni's in here too. What? Take your time. Enjoy the game at your own pace. You about to have the ride of your life. How do you have the ride of your life with a game with graphics this low? This shit is low. This low res, my boy. This better be some kind of a crazy experience. How many niggas are watching the stream right now? How many niggas are watching this shit? Hold on a second. How many niggas are watching? Let me know. I'm just going to glance at the chat. Okay. Um, so we'll just use enter for that. Oh, no, no, no. We can use um, Z to check. Okay. Z is A. Um, X is B. All right. So let's go. Let's do it. Is there a way to run? What? Is, is this a screamer? Is this a screamer? We got 4,000 viewers. Almost 5,000 viewers. Holy fucking shit. Okay. Let's just... You know what? Let me calm the fuck down. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me calm the fuck down. We're good. I mean, it's kind of like... I don't want to get a screamer kind of game going, but I mean, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll be chill about it. Let's, let's see what this is. Do we, do we, is the volume too low? Is the volume too loud? Oh, shit. 
Yeah, it seems like it is a little bit too loud. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Who the hell is little old me? Is the stream okay? Oh shit. Is the stream okay? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, my, my bad guys. This, the full screen thing just has a lot of incompatibility with um, the stream layout whenever I make the shit full. Hold on. Where's my internet? Is, is, this shit is acting up, my boy. The hell? I, I thought the game would have settings to where you can edit what's full screen and what isn't. What the hell? Alright, let me make it full screen one more time. I should have probably experimented with this shit before. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know if the stream is working at this point, but... Actually, let me, let me see. I can actually look at my phone really quick. Give me a second. We just have to get the technical stuff out of the way first. And once this is all handled and taken care of, then we can progress smoothly for the rest of this. But we have to ensure that things look and sound good first and foremost. After that's done, then we can do whatever else. And the stream is featured on the front page of YTG, so that's good. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, I think we're good, guys. Chrissy says the stream is fine. Full screen works fine. We can see it just fine. Chrissy, thank you so much for contributing so much. Goddamn. Okay. Okay, I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. We have optimal sound settings. The stream looks good, at least from what I'm seeing on my phone. So I think we're pretty much ready to go here, man. Also, it's more fun when you give... What? What'd you say, Chrissy? Also, it's more fun when you give... A char each character a unique voice. Read the shit out loud. Again, the stream is fine. Just play. I'm dying here. Okay, fine. Let's go. What, the, what is this? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Okay. Of le love? LV? Alright. Of course it's love. What the hell? This is a very upbeat flower. Oh, I want some love. Hell yeah, I'll take some love. Okay, excellent. Oh, we just started and already somebody's giving us some love. Man. Oh, we like that? Oh, what kind of pellets is those, my boy? Yes? What the hell? What the fuck, my boy? What is this? What's going on? Evil motherfucker. What a terrible creature. I don't trust anybody now. <laughs> what is this? I don't trust shit right now. Don't be afraid, my child. Toriel. Alright, so since you introduced yourself, maybe we can trust you. I pass through this place every day. Let me move my mouse out of the way. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. So have we died or something? But then again, humans die all the time, so... I don't trust nobody right now, man. That flower was friendly looking as hell, and that nigga went off on us. Alright. What the hell is this, dude? Shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Oh, we can save the game there? But I can see why a lot of people were saying this is like Earthbound, because um, it looks pretty goddamn identical. Even though I didn't see gameplay of um, Undertale, I did see gameplay of Earthbound, so it looks very familiar. Of hope. 
puzzles. Ancient fusions of Queen. Okay. Okay. All right, so puzzles. Is that going to be a pattern we have to remember for the long term, or? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. The music though, holy shit. This is smooth. So even though the game is 8-bit, or even less than that potentially, um, it, the sounds are off the chain. First switch is over on the wall. Which fucking switch do you mean? Oh, this one? Okay. Young Money, Young J Money says, Don't kill anything. The neutral version of this game isn't nearly as interesting as pacifist or genocide. For genocide, you need to kill everything. And grind in... What? I can't see your full message. You need to grind in certain rooms. For pacifists, you have to never fight and just act and solve the puzzles. Where? What kind of a combat system would it even be in the first place when the only thing that we did before was run around in that little box? Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. I'm guessing this must be a human that died, perhaps? Mm, it seems like it. This switch doesn't even work. Okay. So that switch got rid of the spikes. Easy enough to remember. Strike up a friendly conversation when you get into a fight. Stall for time, and I will come to resolve the conflict. What? Talk to a nigga? If it's a fight, my boy, you encounter the dummy. Can we do anything else but fight? Or Okay, fight. What is this? Dummy stands around absentmindedly. I don't get this. Oh, here we go. Alright, we can... Do we have any items? No? Act. Dummy? Check. Oh, oh, okay. We can't really fight him since... What? Oh. Okay. My bad. I don't know, I mean, it's a, it's a fight, right? You, you fight the nigga. Why the fuck did you donate to spoil that? That's what I mean, I could just play it your way. I definitely am. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. it looks pretty goddamn simple, but I know these games can get complex. Oh, there's a fight, there's a, there's a fight. All right, so let's try to actually negotiate with the nigga this time. Compliment. What a nice fucking wide face you have. What the fuck was that? That's kind of intimidating. She came through, squinted at him, and the dude ended the fight. <laughs> I don't trust nothing right now, though. That flower told it to me real. She's sugarcoating everything. Alright. Western room is the Eastern Room's blueprint, so if this room is the blueprint, then... S digitized Nate with 75 fucking dollars saying, stay determined. Through what? Through, oh my god, thank you, Nate. Shit! This dude came through! Okay. That's the blueprint, right? So, thank you so much, Nate. That's a fucking massive donation, dude. Oh my god. I'm trying not to look at the chat. Wait, hold on. Alright, I think I got it. So if we take damage outside of battle, will that affect how much HP we have when we get back into a battle? Um, let us go. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. It's the blueprint, right? What the fuck, dude? The music is so on point in this game, dude. Holy shit. The music is on point. 
Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Why? What the hell? So if we walk back on that, we're not gonna get hurt? What if we do take damage? What if we do take damage? We can't take damage right now. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Here we go. Is, is this where she turns into a goddamn demon? I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. What? What's going on? What the hell's going on, dude? Is there something back there? Is there something back there? Digitize Nate once again, man. Thank you for that big-ass contribution. What is going on? The music is getting faster, dude. Let me move my mouse out of the way. Can someone tell me what the... I know. No. What is this, dude? I, I don't understand this game. Cell phone, nice. What the fuck? Cute man says you should turn off donation messages before some rich asshole spoils you. I guess we should, right? Good God. My logic was, um, wait. So the options are to wait here, but we do have a cell phone in our inventory, so maybe we can call somebody right now. Say hello. Alert! Hey, that's me. Hey, oh, oh, so the number, the line is directly to her? Hey, she likes that? Aww. You can pinch something, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know I have to be a perverted asshole on a regular basis, right? You seem pretty lost. Maybe you should have watched the intro. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's just its going to be too much of a hassle to try to go back now. We're going to have to stop the stream and everything's going to get slowed up. All right, let's call, let's do something else with the cell phone real quick. About yourself. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. The game is mostly a parody. Don't take things seriously. Both routes are hard in different ways that make you think, but the game itself is very funny. From Nathaniel. I, I still don't know what's going on, dude. I'm, I'm confused as hell right now. But obviously things haven't come together fully yet, so... I'm gonna be patient here. Call her mom? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, hey, Earth, um, call me whatever you like. to say hello. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. T. He. So these two options remain there? Are you serious? What the hell? And after you said you wanted to call me mo- Whoa! The- Oh shit, it knew we called him- Oh. This is kind of fucking weird, dude. <laughs> What is happening in this game? Okay. Let me calm down. You are an interesting child. Oh, I ain't no child. I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> Say hello again. This is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? What's happening here? This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. A monarch. What the fuck? Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? There's a lot you're asking me to do for you, baby. Say hello again. It seems like the options change every single time you talk. 
Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. What the fuck? One more time! This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. Oh, okay, so finally we've run out of all the options for the cell phone. So I guess this wasn't necessary for us to progress at this point. One more time, just to make sure. One more time, just to make sure. What the fuck? Um... Shit. It was nice to hear your voice. Okay, so it looks like we're, we're done. We've exhausted all those options. Um... Kevling Jick says, Hot Goat Mama, the one true waifu. Um... Everyone's telling me the donations are spoiling stuff for me. Ke um, Kel, thank you so much, dude. But, um... I really don't know what the hell they're spoiling, per se. But okay, it looks like we're done here. Do we have any new items? How do we... Enter? We have no items, so I guess we can't check that. Armor. Bandage. Okay. So going back wouldn't do anything, I suppose. This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? Wait, we were really supposed to just wait there aimlessly? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It will be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? But she didn't say to stay back. This music. Whimson approached meekly. Well, since they want us to freaking... They want us to freaking check console. What? What's the point if we don't get experience? Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Okay, so that's a save point. All right. Do we move down or do we? What is this? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. God. It seems like the choices are way more significant in a game like this. Limbs and approach meekly. Um... To be honest with you guys, I know it may sound a little bit bitch, but maybe I don't want to kill everything that's here. I mean, I don't know, since you, there's an option, since everything seems to have empathy in here. So you can win battles without killing the monsters, but if you don't get experience and you don't power up, and what if you run into something that really wants to kill your ass, but you don't have the experience in your previous battles, and what the hell do you do then? Draconian Transmuter 15 says, to summarize the intro quickly, a long time ago, humans and monsters both walked the earth, but then a war broke out when the humans won and sealed all the under monsters underground present day. Really now? You fall into the hole and the game starts. So this is all done by humans. Act. Let's compliment it. Didn't understand what you said. I was flattered anyways. Oh! Let's count- Oh, we don't collect that! We don't collect that! We don't collect that. Quick story you missed. Humans and monsters had war long ago. Humans won. Monsters now live underground. You fell underground to them. Now you're trying to get home. Okay, so we're not dead per se. Let's actually avoid all that shit. This music. This music. So now we can we run? Can we run? Oh, okay. Alright, I get it now. So when they turn... Let's actually go to the upper path. Mr. McCon says, Quick tip, when your enemy's name is yellow, you can spare them. I highly recommend the pacifist route. Please don't kill anything, or you'll have a bad time. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I don't know. I mean, I like the idea of being able to have empathy with the monsters, but... I, I just fear that we're going to run into something that we're going to need that experience for, and then what then? But I almost want to see what happens. 
it says take one. Take a piece of candy, hell yeah. You took a piece of candy, press C to open the menu. So what does that do? Joshua says, listen, whatever you do, do not kill anything. Act with them until you can spare them. Kill anything and you won't get the best ending and stuff. Also, use an Xbox controller or something. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use an Xbox controller because using my keyboard for this is kind of tedious. Let me see, what does the candy do? Monster candy, info. Kill 10 HP. Okay. Simple enough. Let's keep it moving. So, let's actually just act out of this one, I suppose. Console it. So they all do the same thing, usually. Oh, lord. Oh. Can we fall down that hole again? Uh, Mr. Cube Man says, quit telling Etika how to play the game. I don't even know what in the fuck you dudes are talking about in the first place, man. Like, all this stuff is kind of weird. Let's actually try terrorizing him. You raise your arms and wiggle your fingers, and it freaks out. I can't handle this. Oh, shit. Let's avoid that. I'm in this hyperventilating. Spare. What the hell? Alright, let's keep it moving. Ring. This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Butterscotch. Thank you very much. Toriel is a very strange character, but not as strange as that Rose was. Um, Etika, you keep spoiling yourself? What am I spoiling myself on? I, all they're doing is saying, don't kill anything or kill everything. I don't know what that, that spoils. Like, I mean, what's the choice in spoilers? Like, I, I don't get it. But then again, maybe it is spoiling things to a point. Maybe it's time to. I'm spending all my cash on you, Etika, from Chrissy. Listen, disable the donation messages. This game is best played the way you want to play it. Any donation messages may influence your decisions, and if you're as blind to it as you say, then keep it that way. Chrissy, you know I trust you, girl. You know I trust you, girl. I trust everybody who suggested to me to stop. Move Crush, all of you guys. All right, guys, it looks like we can't have donations on for the rest of this. It seems like there's going to be too much bias in terms of what people are saying, man. Godzilla1 says, empathy can be a solution for any fight in this game. It's about finding a way to do that. What you choose to do is your choice, so have fun. I think the donation messages are, are interesting. I mean, I don't know. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you like to... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? So is she supposed to be coming back at some point? Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Three out of four. So we can push this one, I guess. Frog it hopped close. Let's negotiate with this man. That's actually threatening. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. I think it doesn't know what the fuck we say at any point. Let's get ready to dodge this shit. That fucking flower made me think these were actually good things to pick up. Seems reluctant to flight you. There we go. So when the name is yellow, we can spare him. We're gonna keep that in mind. Is this anything interesting? I'm just gonna keep pressing the A button until we... So we can fall here. We don't fall. So there's random holes that are here. Oh, I see. The roses are where you can actually fall. So keep that in mind. Please don't step on the leaves. I got you. A pair of frog. Sorry, so our first time fighting two enemies at once. So let's let's go through the re the regular old steps of this. He didn't understand what we said, but was scared anyways. Shiver, shiver, hop, hop. Hops to and fro, can we spare? Nice. What the fuck is that? Chrissy says I'm spending my paycheck on you to tell you to disable these Twitch messages because. Even though now it may not seem like it's ruining anything, it is. Gosh, diddly dang it, man. Okay, Chrissy, fine. I'm going to turn them off, all right? I'm going to turn them off. Jesus. I'm sorry, guys. Donations are going off now. I'm not reading anymore. It seems like they're too... 
there's, there's been too much that's been spoiled. Everyone keeps telling me, yo, Attica, the donations are killing you, man. It's like, I can't even tell. I don't know what, I'm being, what am I being spoiled to. I don't get it. I'm getting frustrated, dog. I'm getting frustrated. But all right, we're going to leave all these messages off. Everything off, man. Sorry, guys. I wanted to implement, you know, input from the viewers in some way. But at this point now, it's going to be too detrimental to the gameplay, according to what everyone is telling me. So we're going we're gonna to keep moving, man. Let's go. Um, Froggy doesn't seem to know why it's here. Well, then let's compliment you so you can get out of here. So this time you were flattered. Hey, let's dodge. I can tell that's going to get really difficult later. You won and you earn experience. Oh, Lord. Wait, so let me just remember how this is. Okay, I got it. All right, I got it. Froggit and Whimson drew near. I don't get this shit, man. Let's see what checking me. It's too sensitive to fight. Fuck. Fuck. That's our HP? So the monsters have different patterns as to what you can navigate your heart around. Mustard seed? What the hell? I don't know what's going on with the stream right now. Are we good? What the hell's going on? Oh yeah, we're good. Alright. Compliment? Or do we threaten you? There we go. I just don't see the point of sparing them like this. That's valuable experience in my opinion. Is this a part with the roses? Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Fuck! I didn't remember that. Right, we have to go really far around. I don't know what the hell's going on right now, man. The stream ain't moving. Nothing's moving. Nothing is moving, dog. <laughs> Shit. Every time I make Undertale full screen, it fucks up. Uh, let's restore those pages real quick. Hold on, give me a second. Let me get the stream back. That full screen thing. I should have experimented with that shit. We have a lot of fucking new sponsors, man. Holy shit. I, got, I gotta shout you guys out eventually. Hold on. Let me get this chat back. Let me get the chat back. Pop out the chat. Here we go. Got the chat back. Alright, give me a second. So now I'm going to... Open the game up, and we should be good. All right, here we go. Perfect. Let's go. Let's continue. You know, if, if I had to do that in order to be able to stop the donation messages, which are apparently detrimental to our gameplay. Mold small. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Okay. Hey, let's go. A little bit of a twerkathon between the two of us. Pretty deep. Okay. So now we can spare it. I, I'm really not seeing the point. Alright, I think it's like this. Fuck! Come on, man! Alright, so it's two and two and then one. And the encounters are random, so you can't really avoid monsters. One, then two. Damn, I keep forgetting where the fuck... Was it like this? Was it up? Shit. 
Oh, come on. I'm, I'm getting fucked up now. We have to actually go completely underneath. Alright. This time we're not gonna fuck it up. This simple game of memory. Whoops. But damn, though. You guys are right. You guys are right. After everyone telling me not to kill stuff, suddenly I don't want to kill stuff, man. Like, it's true. Like, it's fucking true. I don't want to kill stuff now. Ah. Damn. I guess the... I didn't realize... God damn it. Alright, here we go. We're good. Now, remember, the thing said three out of four stones, so... We already moved one stone. Does that count in terms of that equation, or can we move those three and not have a problem? Um, compliment you. Damn it! What the fuck? Hey, we're catching all sorts of blows right now. All right, let's use that candy that we got. Alright, so that didn't count. Whoa there, partner. Just for you, pumpkin? <laughs> what the hell? You want me to move some more? <laughs> no, that's not... That was the wrong direction? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Very. What the fuck? Hold on a second. Okay. What the fuck? Mold small A. Uh, 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 do I kill you? Thank God. You fucking. Ah, oh, you're right. Damn, is it ruined now? Is it ruined now? Is it ruined now? Everyone was like, don't kill it, you won't get the good ending now. I want the good ending, now I'm not gonna kill nothing. <sighs> Damn. I realize now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. I can't play the game the way I want to anymore because everyone told me to play it a certain way. What do I do now? <sighs> Jesus. Do I spare shit or do I kill it? This is a tough... Wow, I didn't realize that it was getting to my head like that. I haven't killed a single thing now, but it's on the accord of Joshua saying, Oh yeah, you're gonna you're not gonna get the good ending. It's like, what? Um I, I wanna do what I wanna do, but now it's like tainted with the idea of not killing stuff due to everyone telling me what happens when you don't kill stuff. Aren't things easier when you just ask, though? Yeah, I just didn't expect the rock to talk to me. You done fucked up, bruh. New Crush, you're right, I fucked up. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's not down to the table. Well, we're still gonna play anyways. But I just don't know what I'm doing this for now. Am I doing it for you guys? Am I doing it for my playthrough? Like, I don't understand. How are we gonna finish this? Knowing the mouse. All right, let's save the game here. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's still stuck. There's a mouse in here? Is there anything we can do with this, or can we move this? This cheese has been here a long time, and it's stuck to the table. Is there anything we can do here to help that mouse out? Alright, it doesn't seem like there's anything we can do here for now. What the hell is this? Doesn't seem like there's anything. Oh. Well. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. No, let's negotiate with it. Can we do that? No, there's no other option. Move it with force. Yes. Here comes nap stab block. La nap stab look. Strange name. Let's 
check him. Doesn't have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real. <laughs> what the hell? I'm staring into the distance. Flirt. I just weigh you down. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. What the hell? Just wishing that they weren't here. Please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck! So the boss battles require you to interact with this thing a whole lot in order to be able to take it down without hitting it. You told him a little joke. And he thinks he has a sense of humor, right? He said, oh, I'm real funny. Cheering seems to have improved his mood again. Threat? You give him a cruel look. Go ahead, do it! Holy shit! That's kind of real. Damn it, though, man. Look at me. I'm not. I... Cheering seems to have improved. Napsta. Napstab looks mood again. Okay. Okay, we can't really do anything until we see something visually change here. So, um. I'm also show you something. What the hell? Dapper block. Dapper block? Do you like it? What? Wow. You can really progress. Like That looked like it was somewhat of a boss, but... They don't attack you first, so... Well, let's keep it moving. Spider bake sale, all proceeds will go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web. How much do we have? We have 15. Leave 18G in the web. No. What happens if you leave shit in the web? Alright, let's just leave some shit in the web. Fuck it. 7G, let's leave it. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. What does that do? Info? He has 12 HP, alright, so... So I guess this is a place where you can exchange the money in a way. I mean, you're basically buying donuts from here. So we'll keep it moving. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale, down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. It's made of spiders, my boy. Ribbit, ribbit. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. <laughs> oh, not you too. <laughs> ah, very nice. <laughs> so my friends just skip through it by pressing X. I love how self-aware this game seems to be. On this mission stream, stream looking good. Stream looking good. Details. We, we, we got 4,700 viewers. Goddamn. Let's go. Ribbit, ribbit. I've heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbits. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. They're aware of this shit? Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. Let's just say it's bad. Why not? Really? Then I'll tell all of my friends to tell their friends' friends. Never use yellow names. How about that? Uh, I don't like that option. Keep yellow names, please. Okay. They will still use yellow names. What the hell? Oh, okay, so we can... Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. 
Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Strange. Alright man, I'm tired of this bullshit, okay? Alright, I'm tired of it. My influence now has just been to spare everything, thanks to Joshua telling me that the good ending apparently happens when you spare stuff. But you know what? This ain't a perfect world, man. We're actually not gonna spare that much anymore. I, I, I feel like we're gonna run into a situation where something's gonna fuck us up because we don't have experience. Let's fucking fight. Let's fucking do it. Heed the, so the swarm. What the hell? Come on. Come on, bitch. Ah, uh, do I really want to kill it though? In unison now. Sexy wriggle? Wait. Moldsman is ruminating. Uh, do we. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the chat saying spare. Oh, I don't know what to do, bro. Oh. Uh, But didn't we already- we killed the dummy, right? We- we killed the dummy. That counts as a kill, so we already broke the good ending, right? We already broke the good ending if we killed the dummy in the beginning. Do we fucking spare it or not? Like, dude, I don't know what's going on, bro! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, man. Uh... Alright, I'm just waiting for us, but It doesn't? Killing the dummy in the beginning doesn't make the thing change? Really? Don't- the dummy doesn't count? Fuck it, alright, fine. Fuck it. Let's go back. Well, whatever. If we're gonna play this, then... Spare. Being me is the best. Migas refuses to give up. Spare you too. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. Ring. Are we. I realize it has been a while since um, I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but don't carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave your room in your pockets for that. Okay, so there's a limit on how much stuff we can have in our inventory. There's just one switch. There's just one switch. Looks drew near. Okay. Let's check you out. Is it really even. Don't pick on him. <laughs> uh, okay. Please don't pick on me. Okay. If you say it like that, then. Why, why would I pick on you? Looks gnashes his teeth. Don't pick on <laughs> Someone gets it. Wait, what the hell? Like, how is that a separate option? Is this... Don't do anything. Spare. There's only one switch. Let's check this out. Oh, shit. Okay. Act. Don't pick up. <laughs> it's gotta be one of the strangest games. Spare. Here we go. There we go. Alright, we just activated the thing, so we should be good now. Puzzles aren't that bad, but I know they're gonna get more complicated as time goes on. The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Switch. Press it? No. The far door doesn't mark an exit. It simply represents a change in perspective. A pair of Vegetoids came out the ground. Vegetoid A. Check. Serving size, one monster. Not monitored by the USDA. Well, I wouldn't imagine so. Part of a complete breakfast. Okay. Talk. 
Plants can't talk, dummy. Farm locally. Very locally. <laughs> Fuck. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. You eat your greens. Oh, 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 we missed it. Shit. Vegetoid's here for your health. No, not yet. Dinner. Let's try to catch that again. There we go. We took damage in the process. Spare you. Contains vitamin A. Shit. But we do have the um, spider donut, so we're fine. Wait, wait, no, we can't spare him just yet. So we we can't spare them unless we we really have to like talk to them and figure things out with the act button before we can spare them. We can't just do it before finishing anything with them. So it's good to know. Each greens. There we go. Did we get HP back for that? All right, we're gonna leave before that smile gets any more mischievous or mysterious. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Where the fuck is the blue switch? Oh! Vegetoid came out of nowhere. Let's actually talk to the Vegetoid real quick. I'm gonna try the Devour thing. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. In unison now. This music though. Damn it. Alright, dinner. Damn it! Alright, we gotta use. I think we should use the spider donut now. There we go. Damn it. Yo, we're taking a lot of fucking damage, man. The shit is doing four. Wait, no, we had like 19, didn't we? So it's doing three. Dinner. Damn, we keep missing that shit. Can we spare anything? No. Alright, let's try that again. Probably gonna have to take some damage in order to get to it. Damn! I wasn't ready for it. Come on. Here we go! And we get HP back too. There we go. Spare you too. All right. Hit the blue switch. You hear a clicking sound. All right. These these are kind of tough. So let's. If we're doing the vegetoid one, we really have to be ready to react as soon as we see the green. There we go. I'll just take the hit. Fuck it. It's worth it. So we can spare him really quick. Then now we're here with this guy by himself. Yeah, so we take the hit, but you know what? We at least get that one point of HP back when we catch the um, the green thing. The vegetable. Hi! <laughs> Migas doesn't seem to have a care in the world. So then you don't mind if we leave, do you? Thank you. Let's keep it moving. Wait, what the fuck? If you can read this, press the red switch. I'm not sure if it's directing me to do the right thing, but... Yes. You need a repel, my boy. Let's see how fast we can do this. Without taking damage. There we go. There we go. Fuck. Spare you. There we go. Is this really gonna be the- Wait, what the hell, dude? If you can read this, press the green switch. I forgot where the green switch would be. 
act dinner. Sometime in spare or be spared. What does that mean? Damn! Oh, we're getting fucked up, dude. Alright, we can't really do that trade if we... Okay. Oh, shit! I forgot that the thing acts as soon as we... Damn! Alright, we might die here. We might die here. Or whatever the hell happens after you lose all your HP. I'm guessing it's death. Unless we can absorb this. Damn. Said so hit the green switch. So where the hell is the green switch in comparison to here? Change of perspective. It's behind this one. It doesn't even tell you the switch's color. We might be fucked here. Oh no, never mind. I think we're good. Imitate? You lie mobile with the moldsman. You feel like you understand the world a little bit better. Okay. La la, just be yourself. Act. You know, we can just leave. This game is fucking weird, dude. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Who did this to you? You will get an apology. What do you mean? What do you mean? I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Here we go. Here we go. Shit's getting serious now. Shit's getting serious now. We can save the game here? Yo, shit is getting real. Can we talk? Seeing is such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Everything gives us determination with these save points. But wait, let's not progress just yet. I want to see what's behind that other door. Oh, my man, Omni said, yo, you good nigga, go. Yo, I'm sm yo, yo, you dudes are still watching? Is this not boring, you guys? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like this isn't as exciting as it seemed like it was from how people talked about it. I don't know, I mean, I'm having fun playing it, but I just don't know if it's entertaining for you guys. We're actually going to a party tonight too, so I'm one, of, one of my girlfriend's friends I was actually coming over. Um, let me see. Ribbit, Ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Intimidated to talk to her. I think something might be wrong with Toriel, dog. That's my guess. She seemed too nice, man, and we learned from that little sunflower. Nothing's to be trusted down here. What is this? We found a toy knife. Let's see what this can do in our inventory. Toy knife. Info. Weapon attack 3. Made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. It's actually kind of a pretty little, scen um, pretty little scenery shot here. Toy knife use. Item. Stick. No, no, that's the old one. Can we just drop that? But I don't think we should drop anything in this. Let's call Toriel real quick. This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. Okay, same thing. Same thing. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Something's bothering so much. Something's bothering me so much about Toriel. I can already tell that this is not going to end well, man. The sunflower gave me a very valuable lesson, my boy. And that's one thing about the psych 
of um, people and animals in general. One negative experience will leave a whole lot more caution than multiple positive experiences, you know? Um, but then again, you know, you shouldn't really say caution per se, but you learn a lot easier from the negative than you do from the positive. Posi positive reinforcement is nowhere near as effective as negative. So, it's kind of like if you put your hand in the cookie jar and your mom beats your ass. You know, you're going to remember that over her saying, don't put your hand in the cookie jar. We have this black tree here. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Does this have any relevancy with the leaves that were back there? Hold on, let's go. My bad about the delay, I just want to make sure I have everything settled here. I'm still going to have a bad time. One thing I definitely have to give this game props on is the music, though. I thought only that Megalovania song would be hot, but everything in this game is fire right now. You know, Audio-wise. Oh, my man Obi-Wan, he's on um, the front page of uh, YouTube Gaming 2, man. Very nice. Very, very nice. But okay. Let's save one more time. Let's go in. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Alright, so maybe she's not as bad as I thought. These books are worn, and they must have been read many times. I guess it's not that bad. Let's look around a little bit. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Hey, Is that when everybody is able to use Fox with tool assisted precision? 20XX? Can I get a 20XX in the chat, please? Um, well, it's not 20XX. 20... 21X. Why not? Um, it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier. And fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... <laughs> as great as our king is. He's pretty lousy at names. Yeah, seemingly. I guess that's from the monster's perspective. It seems like the right size tutorial. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. And if you sponsored, um, if you sponsored me during this stream, I'll shout you out at some point. I gotta shout out all the new sponsors that we have. Um, let me see here. Anything up here? It's pretty nice though. For some reason, there was a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. You talking Hershey's? There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Man, that happens all the time. How many of you dudes live with your girlfriend, or not even that, but how many of you guys are living with your parents or have a sister or a mom or anyone that has long hair and it always gets caught in the drain? Something I gotta deal with with uh, Christine, but it's all good. I mean, I've gotten used to it, but it's just, what the fuck was that? Um, inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. That's the, that's the pie she made. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must have used fire, fire magic instead, so there's an acknowledgement of magic in this. Okay. How many of you have a mom? I read in the chat. Oh, you. Someone said, where are the knives? What do you mean, the knives? What do you mean, the knives? I shouldn't be reading chat, but goddamn, what, what the hell do you mean? There's supposed to be knives in there? Where's my knife? Do I have it on? Toy knife, yeah. Stove top is very clean. I don't see any knives. <laughs> Seems like the right size for Tori. Okay. Let's go into the room with him. This is it. I thought she said this is lit. <laughs> room of your own. I hope you like it. Torio! Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Is something burning? Let's go to the... I thought you said something was burning. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap? No. You'd rather stay up and chat with me, then. Um... I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Now 
have also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. But actually, perhaps, this isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? I don't think we should say that yet. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Something's burning, my boy. What a nice smell. Okay, so nothing's burning in here. I guess she was just talking about the fire. The fire, um... What, what do you call that again? The uh, fire fireplace? There we go, fireplace. You know, when you, when you stream, you're doing multiple things at one time. It's kind of... Did the room just change color? How many rooms are there? Three rooms. And there's a mirror. It's you! You've seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. Inside the drawer are some flower seeds and some broken crayons. You've seen this type of plant. So let's check our room out first. Very strange uh, red room. Look at all these cool toys. They don't interest you at all, though. What the fuck, dude? Oh, that's the light. Okay, I see. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Well, we can sleep. My boy! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. I don't like it! I don't like it! I don't like it. Actually, let's leave that light off. I don't I don't know why, but let's just leave it off for now. I want to see what happens. By the way, how many viewers are we looking at right now, man? We still have like over 4K? I'm curious. I can't really see check from here. Um it's just a regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> it's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. 4,500? Let's go, my boys. Undertale? We here. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. 4,500? Let's go. Thank you dudes for joining me right now. We're playing this extremely unorthodox game. Which seems extremely self-aware at the same time, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle, typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. That's it? Shit reminds me of Mr. Krabs, that episode with Spongebob. Okay, volume is good. And then we have a cactus over here. Truly the most tsundere of plants. I don't get it. Wait, oh wait, we have actually something that's in color here. But we can't talk to it right now. But the typha is the name of those brown plants that we saw, that we recognize, I think. From the oblong seed pods. Now what's this? Room under renovations. So nothing we can do here. Let's keep moving. And I guess now we can go back and talk to Toriel. And I get, and I suppose say that we want to leave because there's no point to really. Actually, what's downstairs? Did we go downstairs yet? Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul! What is this? Everything just fucking changed tone. Everything just changed tone, dude. I'm turning my volume up. What the fuck? Oh shit, Toriel! I think you should play upstairs instead. I don't like this, dude. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. What is this? It is dangerous to play here. Why is this place in your house, though? Everything else seems so cheery and upbeat, but you got a fucking dungeon down here? One more time. She might say something different to us. 
It is drafty here. You will catch a cold. Uh, that's not my biggest concern right now, to be honest with you, Toriel. It is dusty here. You will catch a cough. Toriel, I ain't trying to catch shit right now, girl. What the hell is down there? Now I'm fucking curious. I'm kind of scared, my boy. Do we go down again? Do we go down again, my boy? Let's go one more time. I just want to see if she's going to say the same thing. There is nothing to see here. Mm -mm, we going back. Do you want to read a book? Hold on, I gotta answer the doorbell for my um, girlfriend's friend. Give me one second. Okay, we back. All right, I want to make sure that we get all the responses out of her. I want to get all the responses out of her before we continue. It's her sex dungeon, fam. I do not like the game you are playing. All right, I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting a little creeped out now. I'm getting a little bit creeped out now. This is just so fucking weird, dude. What is she gonna say this time? Why not go for a walk in the yard? Toriel. Toriel. What is going on? Oh my god. I feel like one time she's just gonna run down and you're just gonna fucking get a screamer. How many times is she gonna say something different? Oh lord have mercy, dog. Son, it is getting real. <laughs> it's getting real. I don't know what this is, man. But something creepy is about to happen. I feel like if we do this one more time, dude, that's going to be it. Game over, dog. We're going to die right away. But then again, death seems like such a strange... Okay, it seems like she's only saying the same thing now. One more time, just to make sure. Just to make sure. That's it. Now we can talk to her. But those responses just got more and more disturbing as time went on. Hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails, which explains why you have that big-ass bucket of them. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. How you doing, Kristen? Let's exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. So where does she go? Downstairs? Let me just check the other room real quick. The one that's under renovation. I don't know which way she went, but let's just check the rooms real quick. No? Wait, she told us about snails, so maybe there's something here that we can do with them. Just a regular little bucket of snails. Alright. Nothing there, so let's continue going downstairs. I think something's going to be different now. Or maybe she's out here. No. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Well, ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. Why the hell would you do that? If you know I want to leave. No one will be able to... Okay, it's getting crazy now. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Alright, something's getting fucking weird here. I knew it. There was no way. This was too good to be true. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Mm, nah. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Oh lord. Oh lord, what's going on? The chat is going crazy. I'm not trying to read shit right now. But something weird is about to happen. You want to leave so badly. 
You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Oh, Lord. Oh, Toriel. Alright. So it's not something like aggression where she wants to kill us because of malice, but it's just... She wants us to show her that we can survive if we actually leave. Yo! The music! Okay. I'm down. Let's negotiate. You couldn't think anything. <laughs> Ow. Try to think of something to say again, but... Damn, we're taking damage out the ass here. Torio prepares a magic attack. Shit. Use the pie. HP was maxed out. Fuck! Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Yeah, right. Enough talking and you will be good. Oh shit, how the hell did we avoid that? Toriel looks through you. Talk. How does it not seem to be the solution? How does it not seem to be the solution? We're taking so much fucking hit. Oh god, alright. I'm gonna try talking one more. Actually, let's check her out. We ain't killing her. Damn! Yo, we're getting fucked up. Let's just fucking try to spare her. What? What? What the hell? No, too bad. We're gonna fucking die now. We can't fucking beat that shit. I'm surprised. Like, this game actually has hidden solutions. And they don't fall to us when we... Prepare a magical attack? No, no, no. Come on, Toriel. Come on, Toriel. Just let us leave. We're good. Act. Oh, wh whoops. My bad. I fucked up. We're dead. We tried. We tried. Keep sparing. Fuck it. Keep sparing her. What are you doing? No, we're actually... And every time we spare her, everything just keeps moving further and further away. Attack or run away. What in the hell, dude? Toya prepares a magical attack. Spare her again. What are you proving this way? I don't know, man. The chat told me to do it, okay, Toya? It ain't me. <laughs> it ain't me. Fight me or leave. You don't want, like, you're not letting me leave. You're the one that's walking the door, so. Spare her again. They're not touching us at all. Like, they're, they're completely going around us. Stop looking at me that way. This music, though. Alright, let's just keep hitting that fucking mercy button, I suppose. The spare button. Can we talk to her now? Are we going to keep getting the same response? Okay, let's go again. I know you want to go home, but... But please go upstairs now. No. I promise I will take good care of you here. I actually feel a little bit bad for her right now. Maybe I was wrong about her initially. Um, it doesn't really seem like she has too much malice after all. It's still a little bit of a weird situation, but it seems like she really does care. I know we do not have much, but... Spare again. We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. I feel bad now. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. 
It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, loneliness, and fear for you, my child, I'll put them aside. There we go. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. So you claim to care about us, but you won't let us come. I mean, but then what's the point? What's even the point? It doesn't make sense she has anything besides a room for us with, with no point to it. I hope you understand. You guys made me think that she was like a bad character. She's nice. She's actually really kind-hearted. Nothing fucked up happened. Hold on, Toriel. Wait a minute. Let me talk to you real quick. Hold it on, Toriel. Let me... Let me yam it up with you real quick. I want to see what she'll say to us now. There goes a slice of that pie. Where is she? In the room? No. I don't know where she went. I'm just gonna check outside of the house, and if she's not there, then whatever, we're just, we're just gonna leave. Alright, yeah. Whatever, let's just dip out. I think we wasted enough time here as it is. Although, the HP ain't looking too good, so actually, let me let me go back to that save point. And I think we actually heal when we... Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the room... Oh, yeah, same thing. Is our HP restored? Yeah, there we go, yeah, perfect. Alright. Let's DTFO. You guys really made me think she was fucked up or something, man. Like, somebody said in the chat, oh, where are the knives? I'm like saying, oh, shit. Is this girl gonna, like, start tossing shit at us or something? Like, is she actually gonna stab us? Especially when the frog was like, oh, I saw a tutorial come out of this door with groceries. But, you know, what's so intimidating about groceries, you know? Let's keep it moving. Big shout out to the chat, man. I can't read you right now, but I'm just just know that I, I'm here, okay? Oh, not this fucker again. Clever. Very clever. Yes. Of a single, no, a couple of people. Yeah, I don't know. What the hell? What is this person? I'm the prince of this world's future. My plan isn't regicide. There's so much more energy. What the hell, dude? We got Otenko from Boktai on a whole nother fucking level right now. That's fucking disturbing. I feel like that's obviously has to be like the main antagonist of this entire game. The dude speaks like he's the one with the master plan and he came from a perspective of I'm the prince of this world's future. Something about Okay There's a camera hidden in the bushes Someone's peeping on me is there any way for me to access it? No. We can't come back, right? We can't go back. To be honest with you guys, I'm actually kind of going to miss Toriel. She seemed like an awesome character, man. I, I, I'm going to miss her. 
It seemed like the one... But then again, not to say that every monster in this world was aggressive that we met up with, the frog and the little flying thing. Nothing really seemed like it was too mean. Except for maybe the, the vegetable things, whenever they do the that puzzle with the hearts, it's kind of hard to get the green one out of all the other um, aggressive ones that can hurt you. It's a tough looking branch, but it's too heavy to pick up. What the hell? Oh, Lord, have mercy. What? Yes, I am. Sans the skeleton. I've seen a lot of you, scan Sans, I've seen a lot of this nigga online. Um, obviously, I don't know the context, so there's no way for me to know ahead of time what his purpose is in this game, but I've seen a lot of this guy. And he turns out to be some kind of a prankster? Dude ran us, he, he ran up on us looking more ghoulish than a nigga in the hood after 11 p.m. But goddamn, the man turns out to be a cool cat. I'm actually supposed to be on watch. That, that, that vocal, like, the, like the sound when he speaks is pretty goddamn intimidating. Well, not intimidating, but it's loud. Papyrus? He was a human hunting fanatic. Oh, lord. All right, well, let's go. Quick behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, it's the exact. Sup, bro? You know what's up, bro? <laughs> Papyrus and Sands. It's been eight days, and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? This sounds like some Wario Land 2 music right now, my boy. Wario Land 2 was my fucking childhood. My earlier childhood. So, this music sits perfectly well with me. How many guys have played Wario Land 2? Let me see by a 1 in the chat. That's an old game. I know a lot of you dudes weren't around when that game came out, man. So don't bullshit me. I want to know who really played that game, okay? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. You want to look? So he's trying to out us? What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I'll be the one. I must be the one. Wario Land 3? No. Wario Land 2 or 1. Wario Land 2 or 1. I'm talking about Captain Syrup, my boy. Captain Syrup. <laughs> I will capture a human. And then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. But I loved Wario Land because you had multiple endings in that game. It was so awesome when you found how, how deep and complex the story in Wario Land actually was, man. Um, one of my favorite arcs is when you go to the haunted house and you have to fight the end boss who has like the, the arms and he does the grabbing off of the um, string. Wario Land 2 is probably my favorite Game Boy game ever. Definitely, hands down. Um, which is why I feel like they bastardized the shit out of Wario now. I mean, I don't know, g games in Wario... Not games in Wario, see, that's my boy. Um, but, I don't know, I, I feel like as if uh, WarioWare is cool and all, but the original Wario, when he was actually a formidable bad guy, was a lot better of a character in my honest opinion. I feel like the last time we saw that Wario was in Wario World on the GameCube. And ever since then, the Wario that I know and love hasn't existed. He's just become this dirty ass nigga who fucking farts his way through battles all the time. I love the Wario with the trans with the transformations and whatnot, the zombie Wario, the drunk Wario, <laughs> and the fire Wario. Bro, all that shit was fun. And then we have the, the, the Viking Wario with the with the horns on his head that he could do the stomp. Okay, I'm going too hard into this. Let's let's continue the game. Respect, recognition. I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. 
I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Maybe this lamp will- Sans, what the fuck are you doing? Bon Boondoogle? Boondoggle? What the hell? All you sit is- All you do is sit and boondoggle. I'm gonna remember that word. A ton. Why is that word highlighted? Skeleton. Stop it! Stop it, Sans! <laughs> I can't do it! This game is so fucking stupid! Christine, this Undertale shit is fucking ridiculous! This game is so dumb! Let's continue. <laughs> Me too. I, I can sympathize with you, bro. Me too. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? No. No, Sans. I hate this guy already. <laughs> I hate him already! <laughs> As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. No. Then again, they're brothers, so what can you expect? Why didn't he get the zoom and the bottom tish? <laughs> this game is so ridiculous. So, why did you try to out us? You ought to get going. He might come back. If he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Some sort of checkpoint. There are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. <laughs> what? So maybe Sans is goal for us. You know, maybe he actually does want us to get caught. I wouldn't be surprised though. Let's talk to him one more time. Hmm. Good point. Alright, we've gotten everything done. Whoops. I accidentally pressed A again. Maybe we can press X to. Okay. What do you want? Yeah? Oh, so he's never seen a human. He's not dangerous. You sure about that? Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. What was his brother's name again? It was Sans. I'll never forget Sans' name. And um, what was his brother's name? Let me know in the chat. I want to remember because it seems like he's going to be an important character to this. So thank you for letting me know. Sans and who? The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Like everything else in this world. Let's actually call Toriel. I want to see what's up with her. Come on, Toriel! Seems like she ain't trying to fuck with us right now. One more time. Papyrus? Papyrus. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. So it's kind of like an ender chest. Snow Drake. Let's figure you out. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Captive. My favorite ice cereals, Frosted. Damn, already we're getting fucked up. It smells like a wet pillow. Snow Drake. Let's uh, laugh. See? Dad was wrong. <laughs> Jesus. Well, don't worry, Snow Drake. We've all experienced that. A parent that doesn't want us to do what we actually want to do with our lives. You keep making your jokes, man. Do whatever the hell your heart wants. Oh, there we go. Papyrus and Sans. What's up here? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Why not? All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. What if I want to call? You send the line back out. Let's pick it up one more time. Let's just see. Let's just see what it is. Maybe it'll change. Here's my number. You decide not to call. Okay. Whatever. Um. 
New sponsor? New sponsor? Wait, the stream is fucked up? It is fucked up. What the hell? Give me a second. Let me get the stream back. Are we back? Yeah, we're back. Don't worry, the stream's back. Um, and Shadow Marth, I actually have donations disabled because everyone was saying no donations for this. There's too many spoilers with a game like Undertale, so that's my perspective for now. I'm just not going to do donations, period, because I do want to have a genuine experience with this. And as much as I love interacting with you guys and you guys supporting the channel, right now donations are off. But currently, let's take a quick little five-minute break. I just want to shout out everybody who sponsored me within the last um, couple of uh, minutes. Give me a second. We've been streaming for, what, two hours now? I gotta give shout-out to my sponsors real quick, man. And then we'll continue. You know, because you guys don't have to do that. You know, that, that's all extra support. You're already giving me enough just being here. And even more if you're actually liking the video. But, uh... Shadow Marth, god damn! Why didn't sh I actually had this shit... Oh, Shadow Marth donated $120. I'm sorry it didn't pop up, bro. I should have made it more clear that I turned the donations off, but thank you, Shadow Mark. You always are supporting your boy so much. You've done way too much to help me out up this up to this point, you know? Like Man, like I feel as if like now like, it's it's not even a relationship of a of a viewer and a and a content creator anymore, Shadow Mark. You're like a friend right now, dude. We gotta get on some more Call of Duty eventually, dude. Like I Damn, dude. I hope everything is good with you in deployment right now as well. I always get worried about it. like the the person who actually bought this chair for me. It was a member of the United States military too, and I always wonder about him every single day. You know, um, I, I guess I shouldn't say his name, but Edwin Love, man. I hope he's okay. I haven't heard from him in a while, so I'm praying for you, dude. But thank you, man. I I really appreciate it, and I hope you're staying safe out there. Okay. You know, you guys are giving your lives to keep all of us over here safe on the home front, man. That's that takes. A whole nother level of courage, man. Something I could never do, to be honest with you, man. Anyone that does that, instantaneously, in my book, I see them as a goddamn hero. I know I could never do that. I mean, I guess I wish I could. I wish I had the courage to do something like that, but... People that do, real fucking heroes, man. Give me a second. I have to pull this up. We're gonna get right back to the gameplay. Just give me one quick sec. Manager. I gotta give a shout out to my motherfucking sponsors real quick, man. My man AJ Irving sponsored your boy. You busted my balls for so many months, but you still come through with the support, man. Don't worry, I understand. Every now and then we need a kick to the nuts to keep ourselves moving, but... I appreciate the support, AJ. You've been here for a long time. You've seen a lot of transitions. You've seen a lot of things I've tried. Things come and go, but you stuck around through all of it. And don't think I don't appreciate you for that, man. I understand. Maybe the kind of content that I do doesn't appeal to as many people as it did before. Well, actually, it actually appeals to a lot more, but maybe not the same people from before. But you sticking with me means that you're here for more than just the content itself. You're here to see me be a fucking idiot, and I can't express enough appreciation for that, man. AJ, thank you for sticking around, man. Oh shit. Well, now let me just get to the other sponsors real quick. Um, community. This whole system has to be organized a little bit better, but uh. Alright, real quick. So we actually have 24 sponsors on the channel now. A big shout out to Jack Carson, who sponsored your boy four minutes ago. Big thanks to you, man. Enjoy the perks once they're actually active, the giveaways and whatnot. All that's going to be set up in um, probably a week or two. Two weeks maximum. Trust me on that, okay? Got my man King Timothy sponsoring your boy. Thank you so much, King. Always appreciate it whenever I see your ass come up to the streams, man. Do you like the artsy Omni shit? That shit was fun last night. I'm surprised that I'm awake right now, to be honest with you. Mr. Cube Man, much thanks. Um, AJ Irving, much thanks once again. We have I Declan. Thank you for the fucking sponsor, my boy. Yo, you it means a lot, man. The shit helps. Fusion Gamers. I saw you in the chat earlier, man. Big thanks to you, man. And of course, you've been showing support in the stream so much from the past. I really do appreciate it. My boy Yoshi Hyrule. 
Yoshi Haru. Oh my god, this boy sponsored the stream. Don't charge me back, bro. Please don't charge me back, okay? Don't fuck my life up again. Don't fuck up my credit score again, okay? Please, I'd appreciate that. But either way, I suppose a big thank you, even though you fucked me up before, Yoshi. But you know what? We're gonna let bygones be bygones, I guess. But if you fuck me up again, I'm gonna have PayPal get on your ass. You can't do the same shit here, okay? Um, we also have Hothboy3 with a sponsorship. Thank you big time, man. I'll, I'll get in contact with my sponsors later. We're gonna get a little private chat going, so that way, you know, I can just give you guys more of a thank you and, you know, discuss with you plans for the future of stuff. Eric also coming through with the sponsorship. Jet Avenged. And we also have Chrissy. Okay, so yeah, we went through all the new guys. Big thanks to everyone who decides to take... Our relationship to the next level and get serious I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take you all out for dinner at one point and you know, we, we can maybe catch catch a movie after the fact I'm a, I'm a pretty good kisser too so I mean <laughs> did you see how good I sucked dick just a few minutes ago <laughs> I can't suck dick real good. <laughs> this is going to another level all right <laughs> this is going to another point let's continue the gameplay so we have sans and papyrus right let's continue so as I was saying about Undyne, guess what? I'm a human. They're looking they're looking confused as hell. PK okay? No, I didn't miss you. PK okay, man. Big thank you to you as well, man. Whoops. 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 Hold on, there we go. Okay, let's continue the gameplay. I, I, I keep forgetting the full screen thing keeps fucking up. Oh my god, is that a human? Yes, it is. Whoops. I keep forgetting that this thing is gonna fuck up. Um, um, AQ Worlds Lock, aka Yo Ho Random. You sponsored in the beginning of this, but you missed me. My bad, dude. Don't worry, I got you now. Thank you. Big time, dude. I'm just having trouble navigating this whole thing with the whole full screen bullshit. Here we go. Alright, I think we're good now. Mm, no. And we also have another new sponsor, Yendo Rami. Thank you for joining the motherfucking the boys, I suppose. I don't really have a name for anything that I do on this channel in terms of a group of people. We just kind of freeball the shit. Hey, what's in front of that rock? <laughs> so who's Undyne? Popular. For hunting us? Human, you shall not pass this area. Yendo Rami with the motherfucking strong ass sponsorship. I love the system too. You can't really see it in the chat right now. But um, it has like this green bar that shows the person who sponsored your boy. So, big thanks, man. Enjoy the badge and the benefits that will come within the next two weeks. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. And then, what? I'm <laughs> not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. So they don't hunt us down, but... Well, that went well. Don't sweat it. Kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Let's continue. I just don't know if the stream's looking good or not. Like, it's choppy on my end. I'm not sure if this is the case for you guys. Is this the case for you guys? I need to know if that choppiness is only in my viewer and not actually. Oh, it's not. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I needed to get that out of the way. But okay, we're good. We good, boys. Ice cap struts into view. Act. Let's check him out. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. What a great hat. <laughs> Mine. Whoops. So they fall too. Ice cap makes sure its hat is still there. Let's compliment you on your hat. You inform him he has a great hat. Are we good? It's snowing dandruff. Ew. Nigga didn't wash his hair. 
Let's steal some. But it's not weakened enough. Help, fashion police. Damn. I'm kinda mad we got hit by that. Someone says, how does Sans wink if he doesn't have eyes? That's what I'm saying. Ignore him? You managed to tear your eyes away from Icecap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here. We need HP restoring items ASAP. Icecap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. What is the deal with this dude in his hat? Compliment you. So there's a step to this. We have to do things in a certain succession or else we're not going to be able to spare. It's steal again? So what's the step that we have to take? I guess ignore it again. Ignore. You continue not looking at the ice cap's hat. Keep ignoring. It seems defeated. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Thanks for the tips in the chat. It's desperate for attention. Well, too bad, bitch. We ain't giving you any. Let's keep moving. Is this still lagging, guys? His hat wasn't all that nice, to be honest with you. I mean... Alright. Let me see. I think we're good now. Let's go back. Okay, we're good. Excellent. Everything is good on my end. We should be fine now with the stream, too. Absolutely no moving. Um, also, if you're if the stream is lagging for you, if it's choppy, make sure you uh, make sure you um, turn the quality settings down in the view window. That'll probably help to make things a little more smooth. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. How intimidating! Doggo blocks the way. With only 4 HP, it's not looking too good for us right now. We might die here. Check. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. <laughs> Whoa. You can't seem to find anything. Do we pet him? You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. What the hell is the deal with this dude? Hold on, the stream is acting a little crazy. Use the fucking stick? Wait a minute, use the stick! You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. <laughs> a fun stick appears. Dog loves fetch. Let's get the fuck out of here. A stick appeared out of nowhere and disappeared. Was it a ghost stick? Did I just return it to the afterlife? I need some dog treats to think about this. What is the deal? Hello, is anybody there? No. What the fuck is this? I don't know, dude. I'm just as confused as you guys are. I'm just as confused as you guys are. Keep moving. Wait, is there something we can do here? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Are you mentioning Papyrus and Sans? Big guy. Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Whoever you are, knock it off. And we have Gun Blazing Hamster coming through on the sponsor team. Thank you for sponsoring your goddamn boy. Um, stay tuned for the cool stuff I'm going to be doing with this whole program in the very near future, within one or two weeks. I got some shit planned, so I appreciate you jumping on board this early. I'll sort things out with all these sponsors later on. Um, I'm going to start up a little bit of a chat so we can discuss stuff. But I want to see what's going on with it. I just want to figure out what's... Okay, I think that's it. Once we get the triple dot, I think that's it for the stuff that he'll say. Sure enough. It was the same case with um, 
Okay, so let's call her again. Let's call Torio once more. No one's picking up. Someone's been smoking dog treats. And my boy Sands, once again. Special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple. Not really. When fighting, think about blue stop signs. That makes perfect fucking sense, dude. As much as Sans cringes me out with these jokes, I can't lie, the dude is, uh... You know, okay, it's not even funny, it's just straight up corny at this point. North... <sighs> So I guess east is the way to go, but for now, let's go up. Lesser dog appears. Hopefully we can survive this. We need fucking HP, dude. Wields a stone dogger made of palmer granite. Fuck me up the ass, we're dead. Does this count for something? give up just yet. Stay determined. Well, obviously. I do want to get to the bottom of this whole thing. So it seems like when you die, you just start off once again from the start. I don't know if, if something fucks up for us. That dog was so cute too. How the hell did that manage to actually hurt us? Let's ignore him. You managed to tear your eyes away. Keep ignoring him. You sure you don't care? The hat ain't all that great, to be honest, man. He's gotta get a dose of reality eventually, man. If anything, his nose is more impressive than his hat is. Let's keep it moving, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Steal after two ignores? I'll try that next time. Alright, so let's do this once again. Oh shit, sorry about that. Doggo blocks the way. So maybe we can actually get out of this battle without having to uh, use the stick. Do we still have our stick? We do. Alright. Okay. He's too suspicious of your movements. Can't seem to find anything. All right, so we have to go through one round of it, and then we're good. Act. Keep petting him. Where's that coming from? What the hell? Let's pet him one more time, actually. Maybe something changes. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, whoops. Will it move this time? Stop reading the chat! I know, I know, I know! I shouldn't be reading chat! You guys are spoiling a lot of shit for me! I'm seeing some shit. Everyone's saying some real funny sh like, like, not even funny. Like, people are saying some really interesting stuff. Like, Etika, do this and this will happen. It's like, what? Like, wh what, did, what did one of my sponsors say? What did one of my sponsors say? Pet the lesser doggo? Whoops. And we actually do have uh, a new sponsor onto the team as well, too. I'm sorry. I just need to figure out what's going on with this whole petting thing. One more time. That's it. Keep fast forwarding his chat. Don't read the chat, fool. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just. I can't help it, man. Like, the chat is part of the experience, man. Like, I mean, come on. The donations are one thing, but the chat. That's where the voice of the people is, bro. Like, what do you expect me to do? Just ignore it? Alright, I'm not gonna look as much. I won't. I won't. As much as I want to see the chat, I'm going to do everything I can to avoid interacting with it too much for the sake of keeping myself away from spoilers. Let's just put mercy on him, spare him. Let's keep it fucking moving. 
Something pet me. Something that's not moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. We already talked to him a bunch, so we don't have to do that over again. Uh, I, I need to stop looking. You can tell when I look at the chat, because I look to the side. Like, whenever I'm looking here, I'm looking at the chat. So, focus on the gameplay only. We already talked to you, right, son? So, we're good. With a great comparison. Let's move up. Sure thing, I got you. You'll see the world by now. You got the snowman piece. How am I doing? By the by I I mean the piece of me I gave you. Do you have it in our inventory? We do. Info. Heals 45 HP. Take this to the ends of the earth. So we can either use it or we can take it to the end of the earth. So considering it's a special item, we're probably not gonna use that. Let's just keep it moving. Let's just keep it moving. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. The human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, the orb will administer a hearty sap. Sounds like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have it's actually rather small, I think. Thank you for the information. Alright, you can go ahead now. Sand! <laughs> I think the human has to hold the orb. I'm not gonna hold that shit. Hold this, please. Try now. Let's try shocking ourselves anyways. Alright, nothing really happens. Do we lose HP? No, we don't. Nothing really happens if you hit the walls. Let's keep moving. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. You sure about that? I think Sans would be a little bit better at developing puzzles for us than uh, Papyruses. I actually didn't talk to Sans, but alright, we just missed out. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Would you like some nice cream? It's the full frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15G. How much do we have? We have 113G. Let's take it. Buy one more. You might want to rethink your season, your your season sales, man, because I don't think anybody will buy other than me out here. All right, that's it. It seems like our inventory slots are relatively limited. Um, four out of eight. Does a snowman piece count too? It does count. You can only carry eight items at once, so I'm hoping eventually we'll be able to increase our capacity, but for now, just eight. Let's keep it moving, guys. Hey, this is the perfect... You know, it's kind of funny because um, in New York City, at least New York, you know, I don't know how it is over here on your end, but this is actually getting smaller. The weather is pretty cold right now. It hasn't snowed yet, so... I mean, we haven't really had a white winter season yet, but... Where do we move this? This music is so amazing, though. I'll give you guys props. You were not lying to me when you said the Undertale soundtrack is worthy of a listen. Nathaniel um, Platier, he actually suggested me some remixes that he did. And the snowball is getting smaller. I think too many movements and it starts to shrink even more. We have to get it somewhere before... It... Oh shit, we have to get it in the hole. There we go. Let's do this before the fucking ball goes out. Too late. But yeah, um, Nathaniel, he actually suggested me some of his remixes to check out. And I definitely will after I finish this game. Um, I remember, uh, Toriel's theme in general being really cool. I thought Megalovania was the only cool song in this, but there's a lot more to offer than just that. 
We have a new sponsor, Stars of the Gods. Thank you for joining the motherfucking squad. There's no real name for us yet, but I'm going to be working on benefit... Alright, right, hold on, give me a second here. Stars, give me a second. Let me just concentrate on getting this snowball in the hole real quick. I have to be quiet for this. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon Gold and Silver. There we go. There we go. We got it. Hey. But yeah, stars, I'm working on the perks for um, sponsors right now. I'll be getting into contact with all of you shortly to be able to discuss stuff for the future. But for now, I do appreciate your presence, man. Thank you so much for joining the team. And uh, enjoy that little sponsor button that's on your name. That's the only thing that's really a benefit for now, but things are in progress. YouTube Gaming's working on it. Soon, custom emotes. Hey. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. You want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Um, there's actually a place in Europe called Chikorin that does fried ice cream. Press a 2 if you've ever tried fried ice cream before. It sounds like a fucking contradiction, but it's delicious as hell for a contradiction, so... Hey. Um, it's just 5G. Let's buy it. You don't really... Whatever. No. I have to pay for the raw materials somehow, you fucking shyster. Hey, I see a lot of twos, man. You do to try fried ice cream? It's a damn good treat. Or Dippin' Dots. That's my shit. Fried ice cream, Dippin' Dots. If you give me that at any point, I will make out with you. You know? I'll throw preference out the window for a second, okay? <laughs> right, I'm joking, by the way. If you can't tell, I'm being sarcastic. Let's continue. What if we say yes to the um, 5,000 gold? Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Undecision smell. I don't understand that, but something tells me it means something for later on. His and hers. Let's keep it moving. I'm probably going to end the stream in 20 minutes, guys. Just as a heads up. I know I want to continue going for longer, but there's a lot that I have to do tonight with my friends, so we're not going to be going for too much longer. Just, just letting you dudes know, okay? My bad. I do want, I did want to stream for longer since I did make you guys wait a while, but don't worry, we're going to be playing this game more frequently. I know a lot of you are like, "Oh, what happened to, um, you know, uh, what happened to One Punch Man? Why aren't you doing that?" Being honest with you, I kind of. One Punch Man isn't really turning me on as much as it was before, but that's just my preference. You don't have to agree with me. However, wait, someone said talk to the flag? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. We have to do that again. But One Punch Man, I don't know, man. Usually when it comes to shows that engage me, they have to have a really captivating plot. And while One Punch does have probably the most amazing fight scenes I've ever seen in my life, the anime, it's just starting not to interest me as much anymore. It just doesn't seem like there's any plot line which is dynamic, such as, like, you know, Attack on Titan. I'm not saying every anime I watch has to be Attack on Titan, but there's no actual threat in One Punch Man. There's no... I wouldn't say there's no story, but there's just no kind of catastrophe or no sort of foreseeable goal. It's just Saitama able to kill everything. What the hell happens with that? So that's why I've kind of been delaying it, but I'm going to give two more episodes a try, and if it doesn't stick with me, then I'm just going to cancel it. One Punch Man, as cool as it is, I just can't really get into it too much. You guys know, I'm a glutton for anything that's super engaging. Um, let's talk to the flag. Green, your concern and care for Ball led you to a delicious victory. You're awarded 1G. Uh, that was it. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sands, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. You sure about that, Sands? This shit don't really seem too complicated to me, man. Can you help me solve this puzzle? How do we do it? That didn't do anything.
That would make a different sense. <laughs> Baby bones. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? I'm gonna have to go with jumble, man. You know, I, I, I had to give my boy Papyrus some love. Humans must be very intelligent. They also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Don't worry, Stans. I got you, man. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> there was no way for us to solve this, though, right? Let's we leave it behind for now. Onward. Finally, a save point. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. What? That mouse has been in a struggle for a while. We have another sponsor in George Ironstar. Thank you for showing up and coming through for your goddamn boy. I appreciate it and hang tight for those benefits later on down the line, man. I'm working to get all that shit installed. YTG's working as well, too. I have a close relationship with YTG, so they're letting me know as soon as anything new comes out. They're currently working on the exclusive chat rooms, the custom emotes, and all the other stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about currently, so there's a lot to look forward to with the whole sponsorship thing. Enjoy the little badge, though. That's the first little perk. Thank you. And the green thing, so I can notice your comment easier. But I'm not reading comments because there's a lot of spoilers in them, okay? Thank you, guys. Someone said their sponsors every joke, what the fuck, is so goddamn corny that it's forcing people to throw money at him, to throw money at me, so I don't read the, the jokes out loud. That's probably what it is. Little do you know, this is this spaghetti is just a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Actually, Papyrus, all you gotta do is just have people donate, and I won't read anything. <laughs> um... Someone says, no need to rush it. Patience is key. Oh, Shadamar, patience is key. Indeed, I'm not rushing it too much. Like, when I do want to take a little bit of a break, I do. But what's the deal with this spaghetti? Gay Luigi? It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> Lots of spaghetti? <laughs> Luigi, look! <laughs> it's Sans. I saved the game. Oh, whoops. But yeah, guys, I'm probably going to end the stream in 20 minutes. So just as a heads up, okay? So you won't get too surprised. I think we made decent progress with this game. I'm interested, though. I'm very interested in this game. I, I'm surprised at how engaging it is. Um, it seems like every single choice makes that much of a difference. And from what everyone's been telling me, even though I guess there have been some spoilers, I've still been captivated by it. Like, it, it's so interesting. And it, even though it has some really scary moments, things still come around and it manages to put a smile on your face with all the fucking puns that are in this. I don't know what it is, man, but Undertale is a lot more charming than I thought it would be. I didn't know what kind of game to expect, to be honest with you, but it's cool. Warning, dog marriage. I ain't trying to see no bestiality, my boy. I mean, I know I grew up on 4chan, but I ain't that used to this shit. So we have five pet options. Let's avoid that fucking puppy. And it still hit us, it did four damage. Bear, we out. We out. The fuck is this? We have a little map. Oh, we have to clear this up. How the fuck do we? marks the spot. Okay. At least now we know. I'm gonna try to keep that in mind. Anything here? There's a switch hidden in the snow. Is there any way to run in this? Hold the B button does nothing, but I guess, whatever. Speed doesn't really seem to be a focus of this game. Mm. 
that doesn't look good. What's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Uh-oh. The doggy. Doggy? Be honest, I'm surprised it doesn't say doge by now. Give me a second. I need to make sure my shit looks okay. Okay. They're different? And they're kissing. Male and female. Oh lord. Let's check you out. Let's pet him. Paws off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? My bad. Let's act again. Pet. Still too suspicious. Fuck! Fuck that one up. Roll around. You smell like a weird puppy. Damn! I'm getting fucked up by that shit. The dogs may want to resmell you. At this point, can we pet him? Okay, let's try it out now. Let's just, um, do the resmell action. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. <laughs> what? Smells like a. Are you actually a little puppy? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh my god! How the hell are we supposed to avoid that? Come on, my boy! Now let's pet him. Wow, pet by another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Hey, she wants in on the action? I got you, baby. Oh my god! How the hell are we supposed to avoid that? No, we're trying that again. You're going to be alright. Stay determined. Don't worry, man. We're still here. We're still here. Alright, let's keep it moving. Probably have to hit the switch again. Alright, let's keep petting you. I want to see what happens. God damn, puppy! You lightly touched the dog. <laughs> it's already overexcited. <laughs> oh my god. Unless the dog is barking excitedly. Let's pet you again. It raises its head up to meet your hand. You seeing its head? Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy. Pet you again. That nigga's hair. Wait, that nigga's neck is going higher than my hair. It was a good dog. What? Oh lord. It's overstimulated. <laughs> yeah, I bet. That shit looks rude. That, that... <laughs> is that dude hard? Like, what the fuck? I think its sword is getting longer too. It's overstimulated. That boy... <laughs> Alright, now we're getting into that bestiality shit. It's overstimulated. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. It's overstimulated. <laughs> you don't even pet it. It gets more excited. <laughs> it shows no sign of stopping. Oh my god. There's no way to stop this madness. The 
it enters the realm of the clouds. You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. What the fuck is this? That nigga's head is coming back down. That's how high this dude is right now. There's no more. There's no. That's not even any more like exercise. That's to dodge shit now. You can reach a lesser dog again. What is the story with this guy? You pet lesser dog. Lesser dog is lowering. Expand dog, my boy. Shadowmarth says this shit is going out of control. I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> this nigga is losing his mind, yo. If my dick ever did that, my girlfriend would dump me. <laughs> well, that's good to know at least. So if my cock ever goes into the clouds and then manages to poke back down from going too high up, uh, at least I know I'll have somebody who will love me. She'll be proud of me. She's <laughs> <laughs> that's that's wonderful. Let's keep petting the dog. Where is this going to go? It's possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> Potentially. Potentially. It's possible that you may have a problem. You sure it's me with the problem or not the dog? That boy's took to a little bit too much Cialis before he went into the battle with me, man. Where is this going? We have a new sponsor with Shogun Soto. Thank you for showing up and coming through from your goddamn boy. Um, stay tuned for the perks that I'm working on in the future, man. I, I feel like so out of the loop because um, the sponsor button just happened out of nowhere. And it was like, oh, here you go, Etika, your sponsor button's here. And I'm like, I didn't even prepare for it yet. But I mean, I, sh I guess I should have done so ahead of time. But they said that they have features that they're working on with the whole thing too. But at least we get the little badge, so that's cool enough. For now, at least. But don't worry. I'm planning on having giveaways with sponsors and all this other crazy shit too. So we're going to have shit set up. But right now, you should see how fucking ridiculous this shit looks. Pet. Yeah, I'm still going. Rye Mix says he's still going. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening here. Is he just going to keep expanding? He's unpettable, but he appreciates the attempt. And he's still excited. He's unpettable, but he appreciates the attempt. He's whining because it can't see you. Is this it? Is it over? Is it over? Is this gonna stop? I think it's done. I think it's done. I think it's done. All right, let's just let's just give mercy to him and leave. Everyone says keep going. What's the point? Nothing's gonna happen. It's done. I think we maxed it out. Whose dick can expand that large without? Fine. We'll what the <laughs> fuck is going on? I don't get it. What's the point of this? He's going through the- you see that, right? He's going to the bottom of the goddamn, um, text box now. Hello there. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. Oh, oh, oh.
It continues. The game realizes that I must have pet him by like 50 times at this point. It continues. I easily pet him 50 times by now. Wait, what? He's very what? Lesser Dog is questioning your choices. Are you sure? He looks pretty happy to me. Hello there. I mean, the dog looks pretty happy himself. It continues. Lesser Dog is questioning. Yeah, okay. I'm questioning whatever drugs this dude took. He's beyond your reach. He's been beyond my reach. Besides when he came down. Lesser Dog has gone to where no dog has gone before. Really? Really? It's done. It's done now, right? It's done. It has to be done now. There, there can't be any more. There can't be any more. It's gotta be done. At this point now, we pretty much have like a, a watered down response. It's just a really triple dot. It seems like that follows the trend in terms of um, when you can no longer interact or nothing else will happen with the interaction. The triple dot. You're done now. You sure, guys? It's over? Alright, I'm just going to do it for like a minute or two more. Let's just fast forward this shit. Wheels of stone dagger made of Palmer granite. I, I just want to get to the end of this so we know for everything in the future if Lesser Dog does anything else with this. I cannot believe we are wasting so much time on a dog who took too much Viagra before we fought. You know how fucking weird that sentence must sound right now? I hope my neighbors can't hear me. I'm talking about dogs in Vi Viagra and expansion. Alright, I think we're done. I think we're done. Use the stick. Use the stick. You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. The lesser dog has gone to where no dog has gone before. Alright, we just used the stick. What happens? Alright, I think we're done. Alright, I'm done. That's it. Okay. What the fuck was that? That was the most ridiculous waste of time I've ever seen in this game so far. Why does the game have so many prompts for that far into the goddamn text? Like, We good now. So now we have this couple. Roll around. Mm -hmm. The dogs may want to resmell you. So let's do that. You smell all right. <laughs> I think I know what the case- oh, we have to go underneath. Oh, okay, alright, now we got it. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. There we go. All about that timing, man. Spare. We have to do it at the same time, maybe, so let's grace the other one. She said, don't leave me out. A dog that pets dogs. The dog's minds have been expanded. Good. But y'all dogs ain't expanded like that other dog did. 
Um, dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. So rather than going through killing everything, we're just having a good time with everybody and showing them new experiences that they never thought possible before. But how hard would it be to figure out you can put your hand on your friend's head? Not even your friend, your lover. So what's this puzzle? Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Ooh. This one's gonna be kinda... Let's find a pattern, okay. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What are you to tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I left it for you, man. You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta just so you could share it with me. Fret not. I, Master Chef Papyrus. Hey, that, that young Ramsey? That young Papyrus? Could make the best pasta you would ever want. I don't know about that, man. Back in the day when I didn't have shit, when my channel was making like $5 a month, man, I used to be the best goddamn spaghetti maker you could imagine. I used to do magic with that pasta. Put me in the kitchen with a box of fucking, um, what was the name of it? Bortelli's? Man. I'll make you fall in love with me. That's how good my pasta used to be. Don't don't think I'm playing around either. How do you think I got with Christine, man? She came over one time, dude. I used to make this dish. Um, I guess I call it fish and pasta. I would use ketchup. And Christine came over. One day, she I was just like, hey, are you hungry, Christine? Let me cook you some food real quick. I whipped it up. And I shit you not. I shit you not. That girl took a bite. One bite. Put the fork down. She said, I'm wet. That was it. Mission complete. Right there. <laughs> That did the job. I think that was the moment where she knew, yep, this nigga's the one. <laughs> that, that fucking fish and pasta? I can't fucking, I heated that up, my boy. That, that was my specialty, man. I feel proud about that. I haven't made it in years, but hey, it did the job, man. I'm telling you, fellas, you guys underestimate the power of cooking. Nowadays, you know, we're in the modern world, man. You have to be rounded in your persona, man. If you don't know how to cook, regardless of your gender, your orientation, your religion, your background, your ethnicity, where you live, none of that matters. You gotta know how to cook, man. You gotta know. Ladies and fellas alike. That's not double circle, though. That resets it. There we go. You gotta know how to cook, man. In fact, I wanna see you niggas' signature dishes in the comments. What do you cook? What do you cook that makes pussies wet and dicks hard? Let me see in the comments, alright? <laughs> if you wanted to give me a hard dick, what would you cook me? <laughs> okay? What would you cook for me? Let me know. Your goal is to make Etika hard. I want to see the dish. Let me know in the comments. Uh, my brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. We actually do have the, the cool face on right now. Cereal, pizza pie, ramen, McDonald's. <laughs> That's so hot. <laughs> Etika's gonna eat that ball sack sandwich. That'll make him. <laughs> How am I supposed to get hard with no balls? Grilled cheese? That, you guys are just the most romantic motherfuckers out there, I swear. What did I do to deserve such masterful chefs in the chat? Let me know. Um, let me take a look. I decided to improve this puzzle. Okay. He's so cool. And we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. So we have to walk into this and walk out on the other side while hitting everything. That's pretty easy. We almost had it too. Wait a minute, no, that's not the solution. Shit. Fuck me. Let's reset this. I have to do things a different way. Wait, 
Wait, how the fuck? Okay, let's reset it. Let's reset it. Okay. We have to go in a circle, I believe. We're doing. Here we go. We got it. I think. I think. Damn it. Alright, this is harder than I thought it was. Oh shit. Hold on. Okay. Um. Fuck. Alright, this is. Okay, here we go. This is getting a little difficult. Alright, let me see. Uh, the pine tree has a switch? What? Um, ask Papyrus. So, you want a hint? Well, I've been looking at the puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into O's. Nice. Maybe solving the last puzzle again will help. Again, ask for more great hints. Eureka, I figured out the puzzle. Seem like you're having fun though. Do you absolutely, absolutely want the solution? Is there any problem to this answer? Will we fuck up something for ourselves if we say yes? Um. No, no, I don't want the answer. Wow, you're truly a puzzle passioneer. You can do it, human. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. Let me see. Let's try the bottom right. Nah, we fucked up already. Alright, let's reset. Oh. No, I don't think that. Oh, yep, here we go. No, no, wait, no, that's not it. Shit. Man, each way looks like it would be the solution. Um. No, this wouldn't be it either. Damn it, I'm not trying to waste too much time on this. We might just have to have Papyrus give us the answers. How would we do this, though? Is this shit even... You had it? It's so simple though, I feel like a dumbass. I feel like a fucking dumbass. Uh... The tree? I don't get it. You guys are saying the tree, I don't get it. Alright, let's try one more time. Fuck me. God damn it. This is frustrating the shit out of me. Papyrus, just tell us the fucking answer. God damn it. God, I don't think it's that difficult, though, but... Alright, I'm, I'm getting frustrated, and that's what's making this take longer than it should be. I need to focus all my attention on figuring this shit out. So if we go... Mmm. Mmm. No. There. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. Oh. Okay. Great. Wait. 
No. Wait, yes, yes. I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, there we go. Fuck me up the ass with a goddamn hot rod. Furiously. Shit, that was hard. Alright, we're done. You must care about puzzles like I do. No, not really. I ain't no fucking... I ain't no fucking Professor Layton, my boy. Jesus. My boy, Sans. Hey, why didn't you ask for help? I was right there. No, you weren't. Lying ass nigga. I know. My bad, guys. Thank you for dear. Thank you for bearing with me. I know we must have lost like fucking a thousand viewers to that shit. <laughs> we were fucking fucking that one up. We, oh, okay. We still got like three thousand eight hundred viewers. Um, thank you guys for bearing with me. That was some dumb shit. I'm sorry, man. Puzzles ain't my specialty. Hey, it's the human. You just saw me. It was made by the great Doctor Alphys. You see these tiles. Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like. But if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to an A, Next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide- Oh my god! You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This sounds fucking ridiculous. Let's fucking go. Great! This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Get ready. Someone kill me. This is going to be impossible, my boy. Oh! What the hell? Pink tiles do nothing! Are you kidding me? Sans! Actually, that spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. <laughs> oh shit. God damn, nigga roasted him. <laughs> he roasted him. He roasted him like that spaghetti needed to be roasted. This puzzle was fucking stupid. Why did he go through all that explaining? If at the point, I mean, all we have here is the gay pride sign on Facebook that was there for a couple of months, man. The machine isn't working, and we have exp. What the fuck is this? Expand dog has clearly gotten to the landscape. It seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. It seems like the base of a snow dog. It's the broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's, okay, theme is pretty much continuing all the way throughout. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. I don't think I'm going to waste as much time for that. But alright guys, we have reached the next save point. Knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. As everything does. How long have we been playing this? What's our gameplay looking like on this? Um, 142 minutes. Nice. But alright guys, we are going to end the stream here at this save point. Undertale is a very curious game, but I like it so far. But like is a strange way to describe the way I feel about this game. I do want to play more of it, but if I like it is more in question. The game has a charm to it that I feel is unique for a lot of games today. I mean, at least, you know, I haven't really played too many games myself as it is uh, as of late, but this one strikes me as extremely unique. The gameplay, what is the deal, man? Where is this all going to go? The plot isn't really too well defined, but there's so much mystery in terms of what the hell we're facing in a world like this that it makes you want to continue to find out what the conclusion is going to be, but not even the conclusion, just what the next person I interact with is going to be. What the hell is that dude's story up there? We don't know for now, but we are going to stop this currently. We've been streaming for three hours at the moment. 
Um, and don't worry, I'm going to be doing this one more consistently, just like with Fire Emblem and whatnot. One Punch Man, I told you guys, I'm going to give it one more chance, but it's, I'm just not feeling it currently at the moment, but I'm going to give it, like, episode 5 and 6. If I'm still not into it, then I'll just cancel that. But this, I like. I'm not going to tell you when I'll stream it again, because I'm not too sure what the schedule is like, but I do want all of you to check out the video that is going live, well, public on my channel as soon as the stream ends. Um, it's a video that I worked hard on. It's been the last five, five days working on that shit. I have to get a lot of information sorted out, but I'm really proud of that video, so check it out. As soon as you leave the stream, go check out my main channel. It'll be live there. I gotta give a big thank you to all the viewers who make this kind of stuff possible with me. You guys are the ones that are keeping the lights on in here. You're the ones that are allowing me to have food on the table. You're the ones that allow me to have a sip of this fucking delicious water right here. That wouldn't be fucking possible without you viewers. Maybe you feel like your presence here is insignificant. You feel like, oh, I'm not really doing too much. All I'm doing is watching the stream. What you need to understand is that that's the exact shit which got me here in the first place. A viewership and an audience which gives a damn about my videos. And I can't tell you enough how much that impacts my life. I thank you just for being present here. And an even crazier thanks goes to the people who are doing the most insane part of the whole thing and actually contributing money to me on top of their presence being a gold mine for me and being amazing for my presence as it is. You guys who do extra, I can't I can't explain to you enough how massive the help goes towards making my life better. Not just my life, my mom's life, my girlfriend's life, everyone's life around me, this helps to improve. So you dudes aren't just impacting me, you're impacting my entire livelihood. So understand that. I'm a human being just the same as you guys, you know? I'm not just the person that you see behind the camera, but I have a lot of stuff going on with me too. And you know, when you show support, when you say a nice comment, when you show up and you, you make your boy feel good, it helps, it really does. And I have to say thank you, a real genuine thank you, you know? But anyways guys, we are ending the stream right now. Once again, I had fun, I appreciate you guys coming through, and I will see you in the next video slash stream. Once again, the donations were insane. Shadow Marth, you donated $120 to your boy. What the fuck? I gotta give you a massive thanks, and to everyone that donated a lot too. Digitize Nate, big appreciation. Chrissy, big appreciation to you too. Um, I appreciate, and we got a new subscriber too. Ashley Newton coming through, joining the motherfucking squad. Thank you for supporting your boy. Um, I'm gonna have everything hooked up with that, so you probably heard me say it beforehand, but just gotta make sure that you know the sub features are looking a little bit scarce at the moment, but that was gonna be filled up within the next week or two, so we'll have all that settled. I'll see you dudes in the next video slash stream. Peace!